Hi, I'm Manu Chandra. I'm the executive chef of Olive Beach. And today I'm going to demonstrate a fairly simple recipe for you. It's a recipe for chicken polpatini uh, with pasta. Uh, we're going to use spaghetti as the pasta. And polpatini basically is the Italian for meatball or small meatballs. So we're going to take some of these mushrooms and cut them into small dices. So we just coarsely chop this. And keep this aside. We'll also chop a little bit of the garlic, fresh garlic. Just gonna crush that. All right, now that we have our mushrooms and garlic, fresh garlic chopped, we're gonna assemble the polpatini mixture. So we have about half a kilo of chicken mince here. I'm just gonna use a little less than that, enough for about two portions. We're gonna add to this the mushroom. The fresh garlic, minced onion. That's about a heap tablespoonful, chopped parsley, with fresh thyme. Just gonna break that. Got some fresh sage. Again, we're gonna break that and add it to the bowl. Now, what we're gonna do with the bread, however, is we're gonna soak it in a little bit of milk. So I've got some milk here and we soak the bread lightly, not too much. We give it a few turns. We just strain out the excess milk like so. And that's about a fourth of a cup, which I'm gonna add to the polpatini mixture right here. Now bread soaked in milk as acts as a binder and it also helps make the mixture lighter, which as you will see when we start cooking, helps in uh, giving a nice fluffy end product. So we just mix all of this together really well and season it with some salt. And fresh pepper. You can't have a quintessentially Italian recipe without adding a little bit of Parmesan cheese, which, which does lend a very distinct flavor. So we add a little bit of this cheese to the mixture and give it a good mix again. After we've mixed this, I would ideally cover this and refrigerate it for about half an hour to an hour so that it's nice and cold. All right, the next step after we've uh, refrigerated the polpatini mixture for about half an hour is going to shape them into meatballs. We're going to take some good quality olive oil and we're going to heat that. I'm going to be a little generous with the olive oil here because we're not pan searing these, we're not deep frying them either. We just shape these into walnut size balls. Put them on a plate right here. Now that we've shaped the polpatini, we're gonna gently lower them into the slightly hot oil. Managing the heat properly will make sure that you have a nicely brown, evenly cooked product. So we'll let it cook for about a minute to a minute and a half on one side and then we're gonna flip it over. Okay, so now we're gonna turn them around. Uh, you see, there's a nice golden, light brown color. And they're probably about 60% cooked through anyway. Just flip them over like so. And we let them cook for another minute and the polpatini should be ready. Great, the polpatini should be cooked by now. So we're just gonna remove them from the oil. And we're gonna drain them in some paper towel. This is almost a complete recipe in itself. 
These make great snacks. You can even toss them in a light tomato sauce or a spicy tomato sauce and, and they're a dish in themselves. Okay, so we're moving on to the next part of the recipe. We're going to take a little bit of the oil that we use for frying, so the, the same olive oil. And we're going to heat it in the pan. Now this olive oil already has a lot of the flavor. And we're going to add to that some sliced garlic. Fresh sliced garlic. Some fresh chili. And a couple of leaves of sage. And we're just going to let that simmer. You can hear that crackling sound. So we're going to take the spaghetti right here, which has been cooked, of course. We're going to give it a quick toss, add a little bit of vegetable stock or water. Turn that well. You can see the spaghetti is loosened up immediately. At this point, we're going to season it. Salt. And a little black pepper. You can see the spaghetti is heated through completely. The water is drying out. We're going to add a tablespoon of cream just to bring all these flavors together. And we're going to add the polpatini. Be enough for one portion. All right, so we're going to now put this on a plate. Easy enough. Just lift it off there. We've used spaghetti here and we're going to put the polpatini around. And we're just going to finish it with some fresh Parmesan cheese, which we're going to grate onto it directly. Put some nice fresh sage leaves here. So we're just going to break that. Uh, breaking the fresh sage leaves also releases a lot of its flavor and that's what we're after. And a little bit of that olive oil, that chicken flavor. And there you go. That's uh, chicken polpatini that we've tossed with spaghetti.